Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polyester here, and well, Beast Gaming has done it again, cracked the location of another golden toolbox. The mystery of the Dead Dog Saloon golden toolbox has gone on for about a year and a half, is finally solved. It turns out it wasn't as complicated as we thought it was, but that we made it out to be. But it has finally been figured out by Beast Gaming, who uh, you may remember kindly took me on a journey to show me how to make the uh, golden toolbox on the Midwich Elementary School map appear. And now he took me on a tour and showed me the golden toolbox here on Dead Dog Saloon. We, I think we always knew or have known for quite a long time that it was in the water tower, but we... People would constantly tell me, Polly, it's in the water tower. Polly, it's in the water tower. I know it's in the water tower. How can you make it reveal itself? That was the key component, and that is the part that has been solved today. Now, if you don't know what a golden toolbox is, if you're asking yourself, what the heck is Polly talking about golden toolbox? I have no idea what any of this means. The golden toolbox, as we see here on the Dead by Daylight wiki, is a recurring Easter egg in Dead by Daylight. It first appeared underneath the picnic table on the Haddonfield map, um, and it's been put into every realm since then. Not every map, but uh, every realm. So that means, like, for example, if there are two swamp maps, one of the swamp maps has a golden toolbox. If there are five Coldwind Farm maps, one of the Coldwind Farm maps has a golden toolbox. And, uh... Master Mass went through and used no clip and got some excellent beauty shots to show all of the locations of the different golden toolboxes in the realms of Dead by Daylight. So the one in particular that was giving us the most trouble was this one here inside of a barrel inside of the water tower on the uh, the Dead Dong Saloon map. It's in a barrel inside the water tower. How can you see it? Well, that's what I'm going to show you here today. Uh, I, they commonly refer to it as a simple uh, Easter egg, but I do believe it's more than that. I actually think that the golden toolbox is connected to the lore of Dead by Daylight. And by that, I mean, if you see this uh, entry from Vigo's journal, it is written as, I've created tools beyond compare and stood paralyzed as they were stolen from me. These are but a poor replica spat out by the fog. So I personally believe that the golden toolboxes represent the tools that were stolen from Vigo. That's that's what I think anyway. So uh, yeah, we have spent so much time trying to figure this out. I'll run through some of it here with you. Our, our journey of trying to find this golden toolbox and then I'll show you where it is. There were some days where we actually literally spent an hour staring at all the symbols scrawled on the walls in the killer shack here to try and figure out if this was some sort of a map or an instructional guide on how to find this golden toolbox, uh, but couldn't come up with anything. If this means something, if uh, there is any rhyme or reason to this, if it is instructions or a map of some kind, related to uh, the golden toolbox or any other uh, hidden Easter eggs on this map. I am certainly unaware of them, but it wouldn't surprise me if they do have some kind of meaning, but I certainly don't know what it is. There was a dev stream where I believe it was Almo who said that there were definitely clues on this map uh, as to the location of the golden toolbox. We looked for them, we couldn't necessarily figure out what they were. There was a lot of time spent looking at all the bottles in the saloon and these different words that are in bold. Begins here, you see. Um, tried to put together a phrase of meaning about what these bottles mean. I, I do have another uh, video that I'm gonna show you about this. I do think there is a very interesting story to go along with what's written on these bottles and I'll probably show that to you in the next day or two but um, I couldn't come up with anything as far as instructions on uh, these bottles what the words would mean we saw a lot of begins and with but not much more than that so we couldn't really come up with anything about um, the, where the golden toolbox would be 
in relation to those, but I do find those bottles interesting by themselves for a different reason. We also wondered if perhaps this was some kind of a clue. This entire table was not here when um, this chapter went live. This, I don't know exactly when this was added, but this was not there when the chapter first came out almost a year and a half ago. And we wondered if there was some kind of a meaning to the four shot glasses representing the survivors and the other one is the killer with this bottle in the middle, if that meant anything. We did a lot of uh, looking and analyzing and it appears that maybe after all, it was much simpler than we could have imagined. Okay, so heading over to this wagon here behind the gallows, there's a box in the back of the wagon and at a certain point early on in the match, I'm not sure exactly, we'll have to look at the timestamps, there it is. You start to see the box begin to open. And this is a timing mechanism for the level. So initially we thought that there would be some way that you could see the golden toolbox in this chest, but it's not in there. It's simply empty. It opens up for a few seconds and then it closes. So it slowly opens, and um, on another part of the map, something is happening while this is happening. And then once the box begins to shut, then the event on the other side of the map is over. So here, I don't know exactly how long this has gone on. I think it's probably like 45 seconds to open and 45 seconds to close. I'll have to put a stopwatch on it. I'm not exactly sure. But here it is. It's reaching the maximum height to the lid and it'll stop and close there we are and now down she goes closing the box so we thought that this was very significant and somehow you had to do something in another part of the map to get the box the golden toolbox to appear in here there was some condition that needed to be met before the box closed tried so many things, nothing worked, we could never do anything. This box was always, always empty. So now I'm gonna show you what's happening on the other side of the map while all this is going on. Okay, so here we are loading into this dead dog saloon map and we are gonna hightail it straight over to the water tower because this happens fairly early in the match. You really don't have too much time to mess around. You wanna get over here as soon as possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna position ourselves over here by this water tower and we're gonna be looking at this center board here see the center board on the water tower that's pointed outward we're gonna look at the cracks that are between that and the other boards here oh hi dwight dwight wants to see too dwight you maybe come stand over here see me dwight i'm standing like right here on this corner okay and we're gonna look up at that crack on the water tower just to the right of the crack you want to be looking like right at the, the middle band on the water tower here of metal and we'll look for movement in that crack i think this is a good spot here movement in that crack between the two boards there it is right there see it you can see that is the golden toolbox that is moving up through the water tower almost on an elevator up it's coming out of the center of the water tower and then it moves towards us and then back down again to its final resting place and this is happening at the same time that the box over by the gallows is opening once the box reaches its peak i believe this box is now settled the golden toolbox is in its final position and that's it so you can't really see it very much but it is visible you don't need any tricks no mori necessary you can see this happening on the map as survivor or killer without any shenanigans. So this, the golden toolbox is very visible for everyone. You just have to be looking at the right spot at the right time. Crazy. There it is. There it goes, right up the elevator. See that? Oopsie daisy. Hello, Mr. Crow. Sorry, it's unavoidable. I have to stand still. I can't miss the timing on this. And then down we go. There's your golden toolbox right there. I wonder what that looks like through the sights of a gun. Maybe we should do that, huh? 
Okay, so here we are looking down the sights of the Death Slinger's gun. This is his map. Let's give him that home field advantage and look down the sights of the gun. I think this is probably the best view you can get of this action. Here it is. We see it going up, up, up. Just like in the, the POVs. So there it is, your golden toolbox reveal on the Dead Dog Saloon map. I feel a little silly, honestly, that this took a year and a half to be discovered for as much as I stared up longingly at that water tower and I never noticed it. I guess I just really never had the right angle because I was standing too close to it. When you're standing too close to a problem, sometimes you need to back up, I guess, because I was never that far away on the other side of the windmill. Never have seen this before. I'm glad that it's solved and we can put it to rest because there are definitely more of these kind of things that we need to figure out in Dead by Daylight. The Ormond Resort Golden Toolbox has been moved from underneath the stairs on that map to where? I don't know. And now they redid Larry's this week and they redid the textures of all the brick and they forgot to put the hole in the wall behind the seats where you can see the Golden Toolbox there. It's still there because we moried through the wall to see it. So do they plan on moving that one? Who knows? Ugh, and now of course we're gonna have this Raccoon City Police Department that is most likely gonna have a Golden Toolbox too. And that map is huge. Can't even imagine how we're gonna find that one. It's probably gonna be even more difficult, but I'm very happy to finally, well over a year later, put this Dead Dog Saloon Golden Toolbox to rest. I spent so much time looking for it. Happy to finally be done with it. I hope this is it. If there is some extra part to this, the devs say, yeah, you found it, but you didn't find it all the way. If there's something else to do, let us know. We'll see what we can do. But as far as I'm concerned, this is solved. And uh, yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell like a wraith so that you don't miss the next video. Don't forget to take care of each other and on the fog, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.